Are you tired of low FPS stutters and annoying input delay in CS2? In this video, I'll show you the secret step-by-step -step guide I used to boost FPS and completely remove input delay in Counter-Strike 2, all updated for 2025. Stick with me and unlock your PC's true power today. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Windows for best performance for CS2 to help Windows run better while playing CS2. We need to turn off some visual effects that use your CPU and RAM. These effects can look nice, but they make your PC slower. First, click the Windows search bar and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Click on the result that appears. A window named Performance Options will open. In this window, select the option that says, Adjust for best performance. This option will turn off all the fancy visual effects to make your PC run faster. If you still want things to look a little better, you can turn these two settings back on. Smooth edges of screen fonts. This makes text easier to read. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This shows small previews of images and videos instead of plain icons. Once you've picked your settings, click Apply to save them. Now go to the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, choose Adjust for best performance of programs. This will give more CPU power to programs like CS2 instead of background apps. Then click OK to save and close everything. These changes will help your computer run faster, reduce lag, and make CS2 load and perform much better. Step 2. Use registry tweaks to improve CPU and GPU power. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we are going to change some hidden settings in the Windows registry. These settings control how your CPU and GPU behave. When you adjust them the right way, they can help your games run faster, smoother, and with fewer lag spikes. These registry tweaks are made to improve loading times, prevent FPS drops, and increase stability when playing demanding games like CS2. They work well on Intel, AMD, and Nvidia systems. Even though the changes are small, they can give you a noticeable performance improvement, especially when combined with the rest of the steps in this guide. Step 3. Boost CPU performance by unlocking all processors for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we are going to make sure your CPU uses all of its cores to give maximum performance while playing CS2. For this, we'll use a tool called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control on your PC. After installation, open the program. Inside Park Control, look for the section that lets you choose a power plan. Choose Bitsum Highest Performance. This will make sure your CPU is always running at full power. Now change the following settings. Parking AC, set to 100% and disable it. Parking DC, set to 100% and disable it. Frequency scaling AC, set to 100% and disable it. Frequency scaling DC, set to 100% and disable it. Next, look for a setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it is turned on. This setting will turn off unused CPU threads when you're doing light tasks like watching videos and turn them back on when you're gaming to give you full performance. Then open Windows Power Options and choose Bitsum Highest Performance as your active plan. Make sure that the CPU parking and frequency scaling options are all set to 100% for both AC when plugged in and DC on battery. When you're done, click Make Active, then click Apply to save everything. This will allow your CPU to work at full power when running CS2 or other heavy programs. Step 4. Optimize your GPU. Using MSI Afterburner for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will make your graphics card run better using a tool called MSI Afterburner. First, go back to your Optimization Tools folder and install MSI Afterburner. After installation, open the program. On the main screen, you'll see sliders for different settings. Start by increasing power limit and temperature limit to their maximum values. Do not change the core voltage. Leave that as it is. Next, slowly increase the memory clock by small steps of 20. For example, if it starts at 0, change it to 20, then 40, and so on. After each increase, test CS2 to make sure the game is still running well. If everything works fine, you can continue increasing a bit more. Once you find the best stable setting, click Apply to save your changes. This helps your GPU work better and gives you smoother FPS in CS2. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
if you go to the games tab you can browse thousands of games available for optimization to optimize your network and fps return to the home tab and select the game you want to boost for example i'll select fortnite click the boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you next you'll need to choose your server region select the nearest server for the best connection in my case the middle east server works best after selecting the server close the window now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the middle east choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you i recommend setting it to automatic for the best results Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Free up RAM using ISLC for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To improve RAM usage, we will use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This tool clears memory that's not being used and gives more RAM to your game. First, open the ISLC program. At the top, you will see your total system memory in MB. Look for the box that says free memory is lower than and enter a number that is half your total RAM. For example, if your total RAM is 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. If your total RAM is 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. Next, tick these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized. To make it run quietly in the background, launch ISLC on user logon. So it starts automatically when your PC turns on. On the right side, turn on timer resolution and set it to 0.5 ROI. Then set the polling rate to 1000. If your system feels laggy, you can try changing it to 1000. After that, click stop, then click start, and finally click purge standby list. This will free up unused memory and help CS2 run much smoother. Step six, remove telemetry for better privacy and performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Windows has background services called telemetry that collect data and slow down your system. To turn them off and boost both privacy and performance, click on apply only recommended settings to make safe changes. If the tool asks you to make a restore point, you can skip it since we already created one before. Some small features might stop working after disabling telemetry like clipboard history or storage sense. If anything stops working the way you like, just click undo all changes in the tool to go back. Once you're happy with the settings, check the box that says do not show this message again and click OK. Your PC will now have fewer background tasks and will run CS2 with better performance. Step 7. Optimize CS2 using Storage Sense settings. Now we will use a built-in Windows feature called Storage Sense to remove junk files and make your PC faster. Open System Settings and type Storage Sense into the search bar. Click the result and turn Storage Sense on. This tool will automatically remove temporary and junk files that are not needed. Click on Configure Cleanup Schedules and change the settings to Run Every Day. Delete files in the recycle bin after 14 days. These settings help free up space and keep your computer clean. After setting everything, click Run Storage Sense Now to clean up your system right away. Doing this regularly will keep your PC light and make sure CS2 runs better and smoother. If this CS2 FPS boost guide helped you fix lag, reduce stutters, lower ping, and improve your performance, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more powerful optimization tips. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.